All right, guys, this video is going to be all about the topics I would suggest you focus on to improve your chances of getting an A or an A star, okay, or a higher grade in general. If you're at a D, jumping it up to a C or a B. If you're at a B, jumping it up to an A or an A star, okay, which topics should you focus on? Now, your time is incredibly precious. Where you allocate your revision time needs to be carefully considered, okay? Most of you guys are gonna be doing three subjects, potentially four, and where you divide your revision time is incredibly important. Now, at the time of posting this video, paper one is days away, okay? But this should be useful for future students as well. Remember, papers are incredibly similar year after year. If you guys have been doing your past papers, which I really hope you have, you know how similar they are, okay? They repeat the same sorts of questions year after year and they use the same topics. One thing I will say is use this video as guidance only, okay? If at all possible, you should focus on the entire specification, okay? If you're just starting out fresh in year one or starting year two, focus on the entire specification. But if you're really pressed for time, hopefully you realize what topics you should focus on, where the majority of marks are allocated, and you'll be able to boost up your grade, okay? All right, so here we can see a chart on the screen, a nice colorful graph. What does it tell us? So I went through all of paper ones from 2017 to 2022. So six papers in total. And I looked at each question and I allocated it to a specific topic from the AQA, A-Level Chemistry Specification. I did it sort of as an experiment, but throughout the process, I realized something really interesting and I realized which topics you should focus on because AQA strongly favor some topics over others in terms of their repetition in papers, okay? So let's break down what this chart is showing us. I'm gonna go through every single paper, so paper one, 2017, all the way to 2022, and then summarize it at the end. So if you don't really care about the individual papers, feel free to skip ahead. The timestamps will be in the description. All right, so let's delve into this chart here. What does it tell us? So as you can see on the x-axis, we have all the topics that were present in this paper. And then on the y-axis right here, we have the marks, okay? So for example, transition metals was allocated 23 marks out of a potential 105 total marks for this paper, okay? Right, so that's pretty simple, okay? Just a column chart with the topics along the bottom, how many marks they were allocated. What's this right here? This is the UMS grade boundaries. UMS just stands for Uniform Mark Scale, okay? So essentially, how difficult was the paper on average as a nation? And then they generate these grade boundaries, okay? So for example, this year in 2017, an A star was 88 marks out of 105, an A was 75, B 62, etc. okay? So over here, I've looked at our major topics that were included and the first five, so transition metals, acids and bases, period three elements, thermodynamics and electropotentials, these five topics alone make up 83 marks, okay? So if you absolutely smashed a revision for these topics, got all the marks possible, you would have got an A right here midway between an A and an A star. Okay, so just keep that in mind. You see there's so many topics in the specification, but you only really need to nail five to get an A right here. So through this entire video, this red dash box is going to highlight a baseline of an A. Okay, I'm gonna use an A grade as my baseline. Some of you guys may be going for an A star, some of you may be going for a B. Whereas I think an A is a really solid point for UCAS, for uni. If you get three A's, you're gonna get into most unis unless you're going for like medicine at Oxbridge or King's or something like that, where you may need a one or two A stars, right? So I think A is completely fine for majority of students in the country, so that is my baseline. If you are going for a B, drop this down a bit to four topics. If you're going up for an A star, drop it up and include one of these two. You can see on the chart where the topics are allocated, how many marks they received, so you can hopefully do the rest of the work yourself. Right guys, so I've gone through the chart. I'm not gonna spend any more time explaining it. I'm just gonna fly through each paper, okay? So paper one, 2018. What topics do we have here? We have amount of substance, acids and bases, thermodynamics, bonding, atomic structure, and reactions of aqueous ions, okay? 
Acids and bases, thermodynamics, atomic structure, these three were present in the top allocated marks for 2017 as well. So you're going to see a pattern forming here. The topics that AQA views students as finding difficult or fundamental to their specification, they include year after year. Okay. Now, I put the box around reactions of aqueous ions, but equally it could be around equilibrium constant Kp that also received nine marks. If you want to bump it up again, take a look at electropotentials and transition metals. These are also very common in past paper questions. This year, A star was 86, A was 72, and a B was 58 marks. Right, guys, paper one 2019, acids and bases again, right? Amount of substance, this is fundamental. Bonding again, atomic structure again, thermodynamics again. Okay, these are popping up time and time again. Hopefully you realize that through this video. Another fundamental topic, transition metals. This comes up all the time. Equilibrium constant Kp, okay? Going through this, this is one that I would 1 million percent suggest you learn because it comes up on every single paper, okay? Not all of these come up time and time again. They have a high frequency, but they don't come up every year. KP has come up every single year. Okay, so this is one in particular I suggest learning completely. Now, another caveat that I'm going to mention that I haven't highlighted completely is you see these ones where it's like one or two marks. Like, how does KC only have two marks? How does redox or oxidation reduction only have one mark? And that's because of synoptic knowledge. Okay, the way that AQA does their specification is they teach oxidation and reduction and chemical equilibria KC in year one. So it's AS content, right? And then what they do is they apply that to more difficult topics. So although it's only two marks here, you're going to have content from KC that appears in KP. So just keep that in mind. So things like equilibrium, Le Chatelier's principle, redox, oxidation, reduction, these are fundamental principles that are applied to multiple topics. So just keep that in mind. All right, so this year, A star was 85, an A was 71, and a B was 58. So each year they're slightly different. They may go slightly up, slightly down. But notice here, 105 guys, you can lose 20 marks and still get an A star. All right, but just keep that in mind. You, you don't have to be perfect. You can lose marks and still get a really good grade. All right, guys, hopefully you're seeing the pattern here. What are our top five to guarantee our A, which in this case is only 68 marks to get an A. This was a hard paper. Thermodynamics, atomic structure, acids and bases, equilibrium constant Kp, reactions of aqueous ions. All right, again, very similar topics popping up year after year. Amount of substance. Now, this is another fundamental one, okay? This can apply knowledge to acids and bases. It can apply knowledge to Kp. It can apply knowledge to atomic structure, okay? If there's calculations involved, this is going to be fundamental. So amount of substance is key for most topics, to be honest, especially across physical chemistry. 83 marks for an A star, guys, even lower than paper one 2019. All right, guys, 2021, getting even harder here. A star is only 82 marks right here. A was 67, B was 54. What are the highest marks allocated to what topic? Again, guys, thermodynamics, acids and bases. This one, electro potentials had a lot of marks in this paper, so that was a bit of a weird one. Period three, again, in organics, you've got halogens, period three and transition metals. Those are the three most common ones. And transition metals, as, as I just said, this is also common, okay? These are the highest mark paper. As you can see, 20 marks of thermodynamics. That is mental. Acids and bases, also really, really high, okay? Just keep in mind, like I said, amount of substance, even though I only have it as six marks here, this is built upon in other topics, okay? You need to understand your calculations, rearranging equations, all that good stuff. All right, paper one, 2022, this is our last one. A star was 81, A was 65, B was 52. Getting even lower, guys. What topics were allocated highest marks in order to guarantee us getting an A right here? Acids and bases, again, transition metals, again. Atomic structure, group seven, amount of substance this time was more chunky, period three elements, okay? And you also have these two right here that also had nine marks, bonding and equilibrium constant Kp. These could be interchangeable with this. As I said, guys, try and focus on KP. Okay, this comes up in every single paper, and I would not be surprised if it came up in 2023. All right, guys, this is the total of all papers. So what is the king? By far, acids and bases, okay? 
and almost 20 marks ahead of the next one, thermodynamics, all right? Then we got transition metals, then we got atomic structure, amount of substance. This is really high considering that it feeds into atomic structure, thermodynamics, and acids and bases, okay? Calculations in all of these, this is fundamental. So make sure you learn amount of substance content. I've got plenty of videos on my channel, loads of other YouTube videos you can take advantage of as well. Physics and mass tutor, bang out those past paper questions, all right? Then we've got equilibrium constant KP. As I said, this is in every single paper one I've looked at. Electro potentials is, is another one. And then it starts to taper off. Okay, we have period three elements, group seven, bonding reactions of aqueous ions. And then it dipped off drastically. Okay, the next one was KC and it only had 16 marks. 16 marks to KC across six papers. I just left it off. So I'm focusing on these. All right, so this is a table format. What we can see here again is the total marks that was just shown on that chart. Now, as you can see here, this is not in order. It goes from 53 to 41, then back up to 61. I ordered it based on the average marks allocated where that topic was present. Okay, so for example, KP was present in all six papers. So I just took the total, divided it by six, right? Whereas these different topics, I divided simply by the number of papers that it was present. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So these four, I would say, are key, okay? These are the kings of AQA paper one, acids and bases, thermodynamics, transition metals, and amount of substance, okay? All of these are important as well. I would focus on them, but these are the real big boys right here, especially these two, acids and bases, thermodynamics, okay? These are both over 14% of marks allocated on average per paper, and then it dips down to 9, 8%. All right, these are all rounded to one decimal place. Just keep that in mind. So this was actually a really interesting video to make, just seeing how frequent certain topics are for AQA. If you did like it, if you did find it helpful, like the video and let me know if you want to see one for paper two and I'll do my best to release one before paper two happens in 2023. Until then guys, best of luck with your revision and exams. Peace.